Welcome to the jury of Texas Instruments MCO Design Contest. My name is Hardik Shah. We belong to the Bits Pilani Embedded Group. The title for project is Cargo Tracking Using GPS and GSM Module. The other members of this project are Kunal Purushottam Kedar, Ravi Prakash, Akshay Adiga and Nakit Dhingra. Their personal introductions as well as the working of the project is as follows. Hi, I am Ravi Prakash from ME Embedded Systems Bits Pilani. Welcome to the demonstration of our project Cargo Tracking using GPS and GSM module. This project uses the MSP430 microcontroller from Texas Instruments. The basic outline of this project is shown in the forthcoming clip. We can see the GPS along with the accelerometer, the humidity sensor and the on-chip temperature sensor continuously send their data to the MCU. This entire setup is mounted on say a vehicle to carrying extremely sensitive cargo. If any of the variables exceed certain predefined limits, say, for example, the temperature rises beyond a certain limit, the vehicle moves through the bumpy road, thereby changing the orientation of the cargo, or suddenly the humidity rises beyond a certain level. In all these cases, the microcontroller unit will trigger the GSM modem to send an SMS to the concerned user indicating the variable which has exceeded the limits along with all the sensor data and the GPS tracking data. Hi, I am Kunal Kedar from MEM Aid Systems, Bits Pilani, and I will be explaining the entire setup of the prototype. This prototype has been created using the MSP430 launchpad. As we can see, the MSP430 launchpad is clearly visible, which uses MSP430 G2553 microcontroller. As we already know, the G MSP430 G2553 uses an on chip temperature control uh, sensor. This is the board carrying the other sensors namely the humidity sensor and the accelerometer. This is the GPS module which, is, which will be used for cargo tracking. This is the GSM module which will be used for sending an SMS to the user about the cargo status. For serial communication, we have used MAX232N from Texas Instruments. Hi, I am Akshay Adiga, ME Embedded Systems, Bits Pilani. I will take you through the demonstration of our project. Now I power on the 5 volt supply and the 3.3 volt supply. The MCU reads the data from the sensors and during this time a red LED glows. After that it sends an SMS through the GSM model. The green LED shows that the message has been sent. I am rising the temperature, ambient temperature of the MCU by using this soldering iron. We have set the threshold level of 40 degrees. When the temperature, ambient temperature exceeds 40 degrees, it has to send an alert message to the customer. Hence, an alert message has been sent to the customer, alerting him about the temperature rise. We have received this message. Now I will demonstrate the tilt in x direction will cause the alert mode to send an SMS that a jerk has occurred in x axis. Similarly, the, uh, it, it will also send SMS for y and z direction. Now by this way, a jerk is experienced by the module in the x direction as the direction of the accelerometer has been set that way. Now a SMS has been sent to the user. As we can see the SMS has been received showing the alert message. Similarly, this is the alert message for, for the humidity exceeding the threshold of 80%. Hi, I am Ankit Dinger doing ME Embedded System from Bits Pilani and I will be explaining you the marketing potential of our prototype. So as we know, our prototype works in three modes, namely the tracking mode, the alert mode and the time mode. So I will be explaining you the application areas wherein all these three modes are usable. 
So in our first node, which is the tracking node, it can be used in applications wherein the route for the cargo, which it has to be followed to basically has to be tracked, is required. In our second mode, we make use of monitoring through sensors. First sensor being the humidity sensor can be used in applications wherein the humidity has to be monitored for materials which are perishable materials such as food grains or say cement. This is a temperature sensor which can be used for monitoring cargo such as explosive materials, biomaterials or other such temperature sensitive cargo. Answer is the accelerometer which basically monitors any toppling or any jerk given to the cargo which may be a fragile material such as crockery, TV screens or other such fragile cargo. This mode can also be used for not so critical cargo like door-to-door -door courier services. So as we can see our prototype has a lot of promising applications and has all the potentials of becoming a marketable product.